Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Today's story is actually a very special adventure. You see, Odie the Otter is a real otter that lives at the Wildlife Discovery Center in Lake Forest, Illinois with my friend Mr. Rob. Odie's story is so very, very special and I cannot wait to share it with you. Are you guys ready for today's otter adventure? Me too, let's go! The North American River Otter is an amazing creature. You see, when I think of an otter, I, I actually usually think of an otter that lives in the ocean, in salt water. Well, the North American River Otter is a different kind of otter that lives oftentimes in rivers, ponds, and lakes. Fresh water otter. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Even rhymes. Fresh water otter. <laughs> well, our story about Odie the otter begins in his den. You see, he lived with his siblings and his mom in an under tree root system home. Yeah, she had built an amazing den underneath the roots of a tree right next to a river. And so they could plop right into the water whenever they wanted. It was a very, very perfect place for an otter family to live. Hey, Mr. Wilson, are you in there? Shouted Odie. You see in Odie's den, there was a very friendly wolf spider named Mr. Wilson. He was very, very old, but he knew everything. And Odie loved to learn and hear all of Mr. Wilson's stories. Oh, hello, lad. Odie, <clears throat> how are you doing today? Said Mr. Wilson. Oh, I'm, it's a pretty normal day. Uh, my mom is out getting some food for us and she keeps talking about the day is coming closer to when I have to go out on, all on my own. I'm a little nervous about that to leave the family. Do you know what she's talking about, Mr. Wilson? Oh, I've certainly, said Mr. Wilson. You see, every otter is, when he gets big enough, he leads the family and joins the raft. Oh, I've seen it happen a hundred times, and huh, it's a very exciting time to be a young river otter. Yes, you see, river otters, they're actually pretty social. They, they love to have friends and a group of otters. You might call them a raft. And that is what Mr. Wilson is telling Odie all about. Towards the end, the conversation shifted just a little bit. Well, my little Odie, uh, you see, I've, I've heard your mother uh, talk about some food shortages, and I'm experiencing the same thing. It appears that there's some kind of habitat loss around here, which uh, that always means less to eat. So I know that I'm actually thinking about moving to a new place, and you might be as well. Moving? said Odie. I don't want to move. I, I don't know if I like new things. I've lived my whole life at this very river. Oh, that makes me kind of nervous. Have you ever felt like Odie before? Have you ever had to move to a new place? Yeah, that can be pretty exciting or scary. But we know that Odie's mom loves them very much and needs to find a better, safer place to live. Because if their habitat is running out of food, that can be some very big problems. After Odie was done talking to Mr. Wilson, he did realize that his mom was gone longer and longer looking for food. She didn't used to be gone this long. Hmm... Maybe Mr. Wilson is right. Maybe there's something wrong with our river, Odie thought to himself. It was very late that day when Odie was almost asleep when their mom got back with their food. She tucked them all to bed and everyone fell asleep. The next morning, their mom woke everybody up much earlier than normal. All right, everyone, it is time to wake up. We have a very big day. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, 
Odie was yawning and was a little <laughs> extra sleepy. Have you ever woken up and you feel like it's hard to do or understand anything? <laughs> I think I'm at least like Odie. When I wake up, it takes me a couple seconds or minutes to finally uh, understand what in the world was going on. Well, by the time Odie realized what all of his siblings were doing and his mom had already left, he learned that they were moving to a new den very, very far away. All right, kids, where we're going is going to be a much, much better place. The food is delicious and there's lots of friends there. It's going to be a very great place, but it is very far. I've made a trail uh, a scented trail that we'll all follow to get all the way to this new place. And this new place is where you will begin your next journey as a grown-up kid otter. Wow, it's pretty amazing that only at nine months old, that's when river otters can go off and start their own journey. Wow, can you imagine your baby brother or sister at nine months old going off all by themselves? Wow, I, I definitely cannot, but <laughs> river otters are absolutely amazing creatures. As they started their journey together, they had to follow closely behind their mom. They did not want to get lost in this big, big forest. You see, otters can travel a long ways. They love to swim through the rivers and can even swim up to two miles in one day. But unfortunately, this road trip is just that. It is not a river trip. It is a road trip. The river that they had lived on for their whole lives had started to dry up, and something wasn't right about it. The water wasn't clear anymore, and it just wasn't a safe place for these otters to be in. And so their mom had made a trail through the forest that would lead them all the way to this new place. Over the past several weeks that their mom had been traveling over to this new place, she had been preparing the den for them. And on her way th over the past couple weeks, she had made several different trails. She was testing, you know, is this the safest way for her babies to go or is this trail a better way? And so they had to make sure that they stayed together because it was going to be very easy for them to get lost amidst all these different otter trails through the forest that their mom had made. It was getting late in the day. They had spent almost all day on this very great big adventure. Odie was starting to get very sleepy. He was the last one in their line that was hiking on this trail through the forest. Oh, can we stop? I'm so tired, said Odie. We're almost to a spot where we can take a break for the night, said their mom. Okay. It was right at that moment that something terrible happened. Odie started sleepwalking. Have you ever sleptwalked before? Oh boy, it can lead to some pretty silly things if you're sleeping while you're walking. Well, this was not silly at all. Odie was sleeping and walking and following the wrong trail. He had been following one of his mom's old trails that she had made several weeks ago that did not lead to the right place. And that is when Odie became separated from his family. He kept walking and walking and walking. And all of a sudden, laid down and actually fell fast asleep. Oh no! What in the world is going to happen with Odie? Is he going to be able to find his family? Or is he going to be placed on a new adventure, one that he was not prepared for? We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. All right, it's question time. Who remembers when you have a whole group of otters together? What do we call that group? Do we call them a squad, a flock, or a raft? Yes, we call them a raft of otters. That is correct. And do you remember, are otters good at swimming? Yes, 
Oh, they're very good at swimming. Remember, they can swim 10 miles in a day. That is pretty impressive. Well, I can't wait to hear how this story ends on the next episode. I'll see you there. Bye.